country across America. Cammie Brown is hanging out, finding out more. Hey, you. Borrowed the hat. It is her centennial driver. celebration today. And I got to tell you, there are not many things that still work after 100 years. If you've been here in Stockton, uh, you have driven past Benjamin Holt Drive. And here in Lodi at Mickey Grove Park, they have a lot of museums to kind of showcase this. This thing is still running. They said it was going to take a few times to get it up and going, but every single time it has started. Oh, well, of course, now it's about to die. I promise you, I even said this is going to happen on live TV. They said, do you want to start it on live TV? I said, no, because I guarantee I've done this long enough that I know it will not turn over, which is now what's happening. Maybe we don't have enough gas in it. It's been running all morning long. And by the way, they drove it over here. The dang thing still works. Let's talk about how revolutionary this is, Philip, because you do some of the education here at the museum. Yes. Why is this such a big deal for our area? So the Holt 75 tractor was instrumental in the evolution of industrial agriculture in the San Joaquin Valley in the early 20th century. And the Holt 75 was, you know, was manufactured by the Holt Manufacturing Company in Stockton. And it was purchased by agricultural concerns all over the country in the Central Valley, by lumber companies all over the western United States. It was purchased by government agencies. It was used during World War I by the United States military to haul artillery. It was incredibly revolutionary for this area in terms of industrial concerns. Now, one of the things that is really cool is that Benjamin Holt, well, his kids actually, came up with the idea because you see these, they call them caterpillars, and we still use that term to this day, and that's because of how those look and that when it would crawl around looking like a caterpillar, and they needed that because for some of the soil that we have here in the San Joaquin area. So not only did they revolutionize it with these tractors, but also with how things are done. So I want to take you inside here because they do have this museum. And we're on a little bit of a short leash here with Sean. I'll let you know how much time you, how much space you have. Not too much there, but I want I wanted you to be able to see all of the different ones that you have inside here. Now they are celebrating big, and uh, Mike's going to talk about exactly what they're going to be doing here for uh, the whole family. A lot of them don't live in the area anymore, and they've since moved production into Peoria. But uh, they're going to be in town for this big celebration. It's happening June 22nd. What are you guys doing? Well, it's going to be the 100 year celebration of the first construction of the Holt 75. And we are going to be, this is going to be one of our major fundraisers, and it's highlighting innovators in agriculture in San Joaquin County, of which this is one of the big innovators and one of the major things that revolutionize the economy, agriculture, and construction industry worldwide. Now, can people still get tickets if they want to come to you this? You can still get tickets. It starts at 5.30 on June 22nd. They need to call the museum to order the tickets, and that number is 321 0255 and it's area code 209. Okay, and we'll put all of that information on our website, gooddaysacramento.com. I got to encourage you though, if you cannot make it out on Saturday, June 22nd, you got to get your family out here because I didn't think I was going to be as into this. And as I started walking around, and they just have everything, all these different tractors were used here in San Joaquin County. It is really cool to be able to read all of the things about them. Guys? All right. It's really cool to see, you know, some of the, the, uh, the inventions from back then. Mm -hmm. That honestly work better than some of the stuff that we create. Now. Well, th those things are still going. They don't make them like that. My anymore. last lawnmower didn't last that long, that's for sure. Just saying. All right.